guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very, very, very excited about today's video because I finally received my Glam Light ice cream order. I can't even speak because that's how excited I am. I got the palette and I also ordered an ice cream pop. I used the palette today. I used the lip gloss. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna come right out and say it that this is my absolute favorite Glam Light palette to date. It is just that good. The palette comes in this limited edition ice cream truck. I love the packaging of Glam Light. It's just really unique and absolutely beautiful. So this is what the palette comes in. This is so freaking cute. It's an ice cream truck. A plus for packaging. A freaking plus. And of course, you open it up and the palette sits inside. I took the palette out, of course. Here is the palette right here. This is not like the typical Glam Light palette. This has 30 shades. Yeah, 30 shades. And it's not big. It's not hard to store either. And not only that, but this is their first packaging where there are 3D textures in the palette. So the ice cream sprinkles move. And if I'm not mistaken, the owner of Glam Light said that this is a handmade palette, which beautiful like absolutely stunning i love the look of this palette the inside of the palette is the best part look at these beautiful 30 shades of absolute goodness look at this this is just so beautiful and of course i know we're in the fall time and these are pastel shades yes of course glam light had a delay with this collection which i completely understand COVID just really came and like really shook up a lot of things but I'm very, very, very happy that they still ended up releasing this because this is absolutely beautiful. The owner also mentioned that with this palette, she wanted every one of all skin tones to be able to use a pastel shade. And when I tell you guys, these pastel shades are shades that I can actually use and they are so pigmented. It kind of makes me wonder why other pastel palettes are not as pigmented as these shades are. I just don't understand that. Like... Those pastel shades are so light and chalky and like other palettes that I've tried out. But these are not like that at all. So like, let me go ahead and swatch some of these. So I'm going to swatch Bubblegum, Pistachio, Cookie Monster, and let's do Mango. Here are the shades right here. Do you guys see how vibrant these pastels are? That's crazy. These, like pastels are not usually this vibrant. This palette does retail for... $45, which I think is an absolute beautiful price point. It's pretty typical for all of their other palettes, and I definitely think it is worth the $45. It is just that good. I'm like really raving about this palette because it is so good. It is a pastel palette that is so friendly for all skin tones it's crazy like i'm really blown away by this palette because i was trying to figure out like okay i understand you want this palette to work for all skin tones but pastels are just so hard to show up on like just show up in general but the fact that i was able to create this look with this palette of pastels is crazy like it is so vibrant and I use the same base that I always use I decided not to go in with my P. Louise base in the shade zero because you know that's like the lightest shade that I always use when I want to go in with really really light shadows I decided to just go in with my MAC paint pot normal shade that I always use and they were still vibrant I do have a tutorial on this look right here so if you want to see that then definitely you can keep on watching. But before we get into that, I want to talk about this little popsicle right here. This retails for $28 and you get three lip products in here. You get two glosses and one liquid lipstick. In the collection, there also was another pop, another a pop another ice cream pop the strawberry one with different shades in there i just like the chocolate ones i felt it would look a lot better on my skin tone these are gorgeous okay can i just tell you guys they're really really gorgeous the only one that i really really did not care for was the liquid lipstick it was a little bit too orangey like i don't really know for my skin tone liking it didn't really look that good on me even with a lip liner but I will include some lip swatches right here for you guys. Mm -hmm. 
Unless you guys have seen the lip swatches, I will say that Sweet Fudge is my favorite lip product in this little bundle. It looks so gorgeous. It has like these little silvery kind of reflex in it and it is just stunning. So that's the one that really, really spoke to me and that's the one I'm wearing right now. So now that we've talked about the palette, talked about the popsicle, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial of this look. Okay, so we're going to start off with Black Cherry, and we're going to place this in the outer corner. You guys, this shade is so freaking vibrant. I'm just, I'm still in shock. So I'm just going to start blending this out, spreading it up towards my brow bone. Just making sure it's all blended out nicely. Now we're going to go into the shade Green Tea and I'm going to take this shade and start to place it right next to Black Cherry. Very pretty. I had to go in with a pastel guys, you already know. So I'm just working this into my crease and then I'm going to start to blend it into Black Cherry making sure there's no harsh lines or anything like that because we cannot have a harsh line, okay? <laughs> I got to blend my life away. And I'm just building up the shade, building it up, and then also going back into Black Cherry and defining that more because once I started blending out green tea, I started to lose it. Now we're going to go in with Pumpkin, and I'm going to take this and place this in the inner corner, blending into green tea. The shade is pretty light, but we're going to definitely build it up. Going back into green tea, making sure I have that as vibrant as possible because I was losing it. Now I'm going into the shade Red Velvet because that pumpkin shade wasn't cutting it. I needed something a little bit brighter. So I'm just placing this one on top just to brighten it up. Now we're cutting the crease. You guys know I love to cut my crease. I'm just so... I'm so fast with cutting my crease. It's ridiculous. So I do recommend once you cut your crease and you use P. Louise pat it because it's in a way you're kind of setting it going back into black cherry as you guys can see love this shade <laughs> i'm just blending it into that cut crease because i don't want any harsh lines now we're taking the shade cotton candy it's so beautiful and we're placing this in the inner corner leaving space for other shades i started to notice that the brush wasn't really working out very well so i went in with my finger i recommend using your finger with glam lights shimmer formula because they are the best going into birthday cake i am placing this right next to cotton candy and tapping it with my finger going into chocolate now and i'm placing this on top of black cherry because i needed it to be a little bit deeper this is the deepest matte in the palette and of course, I'm going back into Black Cherry and putting that on my lower lash. Dang, I move fast. Going into the lips now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think you're going to pick up this palette? What are your thoughts? How are you feeling? I personally think this is my absolute favorite Glam Light palette to date. It's beautiful and... I know that these are pastel shades and we're in the fall time, but your girl will be picking up this palette some more because it's a pastel palette that actually works. It works, you know? Other pastel palettes, I'm just like, I don't really want to touch you. I'll just pack you on the lid. That's how I get the color to show up. But with this palette, I can actually blend it out in the crease, pack it on the lid, do what I would normally do with other pigmented shadows that are not pastels. So that's that. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.